everyone welcome back lovely to have you here on this really warm day oh my goodness i'm taking um a deep breath because i've had to close the window and all the doors so i can record this video and it is sweltering today so i'm making an early start so that i can bring this to you hopefully in a few hours and before it gets too unbearable right now i've got a couple of um just got a project i'm going to share with you today which is part of the big mystery project we're making but it's also an exciting envelope that i'm revisiting and it would be number seven so we're doing two in one here um but also before i get onto that i want to just uh, make mention to all of you that you are invited to my uh, facebook group for crafting um so i have opened that up after many people who've asked me and now that i'll be spending a little less time um in full-time education i am taking a, um, a few days back for myself so i'm doing a bit of a half half situation i've got more time to be able to spend on some of the other things that i love to do and one of the things was having a facebook group for all the crafts so the facebook group is called fans of angela kerr designs and what we have there is a, a lovely place for you to share all the beautiful things that you guys like to share with me um, that you've made from my tutorials or from our pages, that kind of thing. And it's also there for us to support each other, um, for you to ask questions, um, for me to ask questions and and to see all the lovely inspirational things that you like to, to create too. So I'm hoping to be able to do such a lot in that group um, with yourselves. All right, so have a look for uh, fans of Angela Kerr Designs and on Facebook. Um, I will put the link in the description box below as well, this, below this video. All right, so that's the exciting bit there. The other bit I wanted to share is that I will be posting... Um, uh, the, I will be putting, uh, switching on the live, sorry, for um, any printed uh, kits that you wanted from my kit. So I will be putting in the f um, Floral Folly uh, journal kit um, and I will also put in the uh, Purple Passion journal kits. So just have a look at the details um, in the description for those journal kits uh, at, in my Etsy store and uh, I've tried to keep the postage as low as possible so um, go and have a look if you are one of those people who don't have a printer and really wanted to get hold of one of those kits because I know there's quite a few people go and have a look there if there's something else that you're wanting from my kits that I have in my shop then like butterflies or something like that just let me know um, and I will try my best to um, sort that for you okay let's get on with our project now enough talking right so today i want to do um, a little envelope um called well it's like a, a version of exciting envelope seven so let's have a look at what you're going to need for that the first thing is you're going to need three envelopes now these envelopes don't have to be a specific size please use what you have guys and if you're able to use your mailers and able to loosen this flap on the side which often you can please go right ahead and do that i don't want you to spend money on things that um, are because it's something you don't have really make use of what you do have and if you don't have any envelopes like i always say to you take a piece of copier paper fold it to the size that you want um, and create your own envelope all right so envelopes are used mostly for me because of the pockets and that kind of thing um, and i make use of what i have if there's something i want to do and the envelope isn't quite the size i want i just trim it down to the size that i do want all right so i keep the bits that i, I cut off and i try and think of another way that i can use those in my projects so i'm just trying to encourage you to not spend money where you don't have to and really make use of what you do have all right so i've got three envelopes here one of them we're going to use just as it is this has a flap on the side and we're going to use it with a flap on the left hand side so that one will remain as it is then i've got another one these two have a flap on this side um, and that's important for the project okay i want to cut these two down so the first one i want to cut is 
and guys this again is an estimation so uh, you're looking at just over six and a quarter centimeters or if you're working in inches it's two and a half inches so I'm going to just draw a, a little mark over there with my pencil and I will cut that off that's going and I'll show you because I've done it already um, and then over on the third one with our flap again on the left hand side I am making this one just go closer to the mark five inches uh, long or 13 just about 13 centimeters and again um, just going to cut that off there so I'm going to just draw a little line like that all right so just so that you know you can have one envelope with the flap there that's number one you're going to have another one which is five inches or plus minus 13 centimeters from there to there and it doesn't matter because I'll be covering this all right and then this bit we'll keep for something else another day and then we've got these two here so what did I say that was um, two and a half inches or six and a half centimeters so you got 2.5 inches or plus minus 6.25 to 6.5 centimeters that's up until that point and then the remainder of that is um, about nine and a half centimeters or in inches that will be three and three quarter um, inches all right so that will be uh, number two Let's see if you can see that. That is going to be number three, and that's going to be number four. All right, so that's what we've got. These are just guides. When you see me put it all together, you'll see that you can use any size envelope that's going to fit in the project you're making. Um, this is the one that I'm going to use in the project, our mystery project that I'm making. All right, so I'm going to just cut those all off, which I have done already. So let's just put those to the side. Um, and then before I get on to um, showing you that, let's just talk about some of the things. Um, I'm using a piece of acetate. This came from my birthday cake in April, so I kept this because it's great to use this for. And I'm just going to use a tiny piece. You could also use um, the little cellophane bags that I showed you last time. All right, so have a look at the packaging. We get so much in that. Um, I keep all that stuff and recycle a lot. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut off a little piece from there. Then as far as the pages are concerned, these are the background pages, uh, the purpley, the raspberry, the gold, and the uh, tealy turquoise color. I'm going to use those in this project today. So that's that. Um, I'm also have cut off one of these that was in this corner here. We're going to use that. Um, of course, guys, you can use whatever papers you want to use. All right, this is just showing you what you will need. So you need to gather those items in your pages, or of course, you can use what I'm doing. Now, these are two to the page minis that I have in my kit. I'm only going to use the top one, so that one there. Um, I do use this big printout over here, so we use that. Um, I am going to use the monotone page in the same design with the lilies on. Goes this way, actually. <laughs> and then I am going to use the bigger version of the mini that we're going to use today. So that's what we're going to use. All right, so that gives you an idea of everything that you will need. So let's have a look and see what I've done. So first of all, we've got the first one at the bottom. Oops, chairs creaking. It's a sign, isn't it? I've got the second one, as I said to you, um, uh, the third one, and of course, the big one, which I didn't cut at all. All right, so there's this one. This one's going to have a flap on that side. Um, this one is going to have a flap on that side. This one will have a flap on that. Um, I think that side. Uh, now that side and it doesn't matter at this point and this one's like that over there all right so that's everything that we're going to do so let's go and see what 
how to put this together. So let's take the first one at the bottom and you will see that you've, I have now loosened this. You can see I've just taken my bone folder and very gently I loosened this off the bottom of the envelope and I will stick it down when I'm finished. Um, so you've now got a strip that looks like that. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of paper which is the smaller version. I'm not going to show you every one, but this is from the smaller version um, of this sheet here, the smaller one. So it's the bit over there, but the two to the page one. Okay, that I'm going to stick, first of all, onto this piece here. All right, so let me just grab my glue. And I'm going to just stick this down carefully. I hope you guys have been having a lovely week. I am looking so excited. I am so excited to see you. Hopefully, you want to join the Facebook journaling group with me. I do love to see um, all that you do, and I do get so many emails um, because the you know we haven't really had a place that's um, suitable. So I'm hoping this is going to be great for everybody and inspire one another. Right, so I've stuck that down like that. Now, before I go any further, what I want to do is I want to make a little hole here. You know, can't help myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it with this punch rather than going to do this on my die cut machine, which you can do with pleasure and I normally would. But what I want to do is I want to just take this as a one inch circle die. If you don't have this, if you've got something like this, or you have something like the glue stick, you can draw a circle around there and cut that out. All right, so see what you have. Now I'm going to just um, cut this um, over here, I think, like that. And I'm going right through. We're going to keep that. We've got a little hole there now. Um, and we will sort that out. I'm going to just... Um, Put a little bit of uh, distress ink very lightly i'm just dabbing it really around there like that okay now i'm going to take that birthday cake box <laughs> and this was a lovely cake um, and i'm going to just go to the corner here and just get a little piece hopefully i can gauge it right and just cut a little square out here. Okay, so there we go. I hope you can even see that. Um, what I want to do is just stick this onto the back here. So I'm going to stick it underneath that there, um, just so that it helps with trying to um, not get my little card that I'll stick in there eventually. Um, oops. Okay, so we can just stick that down like that. All right. Let's turn that over. Yeah. All right. Now, um, what you can do is you can stitch around here. I'm going to do that ever so quickly and a little bit around there. But if you don't have a machine, that would work equally well. All right. So I'm going to just do that to this one. And I'll join you back here in a moment. Okay, so there you can see I've just done a bit of messy stitching around there and then I just stitched around the edge. I'm yet to glue down this bit there. So I'm going to just do that and be mindful on this section here. So we just stick that down. Okay, so let's just get that bit down there like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do as as well, um, I've got a bit to go on the back here, which is in this raspberry paper. So I'm going to just stick that down as well. So it covers the stitching as, as well, which is good. Okay, so there we go. We've got that bit done. Now um, we've kept hold of this little bit that came out there. And now what I wanted to, what I did do is I've made a little card 
to go into this front section here so hopefully it goes in okay so now we're just going to slide the little card into the bottom there like that but at the bottom there i want to put this little bit on as well all right so um it's just a case of getting wise with this here and i think that this is where it needs to be there or thereabouts okay so um i'm not worried to match that up too well although i think it sort of goes like that but if i just put that down there or thereabouts let's just see if i can get that to be at the right position in the right position so i'm going to just get that down there like that and then i'm going to get my um a little idea of where that needs to go so i'm going to just put some glue on there um and then i'm going to open this up uh, i think i'm going to just stick it down and i think it's got to go here there about so i'm going to just put it there quickly before i press it down hard um, and then just see yeah that's actually a good spot there we go we can press that down gosh that was lucky wasn't it okay so we've got that there and all i want to do now is i've got a tiny little butterfly from my butterflies oops and i want to just stick that on the top over there like that gosh this chair is creaking today right so let's just put that over there like that, just so that it's going to peek through on the card. And then there's plenty of space to journal on there as well. So that's going to go into this pocket um, just at the bottom there and just peek through a little bit like that. Okay, so we've got the first one done on all sides. There we have it. Now we want to take the second one, which is the second longest one. Um, and what we want to do is we want to cover this as well. So I have got a planer piece of paper. This has come from, let me just put this over here. This has come from this section over here on the bigger page. Okay, so that's there. I'm going to just stick that straight down. I'm not going to be stitching this. It was only the front one I wanted to stitch. You can go and stitch the others, of course. Um, you could also stitch these pages before you glue them down so that it goes, uh, you're able to stitch on all four sides. So that is an option as well. But when you do stick this down, um, just make sure that you do have this flap on that side. Okay. All right. Now, Angela, what do you like? Now, <laughs> um, on this side here, I'm just lucky that I'm, I have remembered this bit needs to go and be stuck on this bit here. So what I want to do is I need to put some glue. This one's got a bit of a sticky thingy, but I'm not worried about that too much. What I want to do is just use this flap to adhere this to the uh, envelope below. Okay, so we'll open that up and we want to stick this towards the bottom of this page. So uh, let's just get that. And I'm closing it a bit so that it's not quite um, against the edge there like that. So it's going to lie flat. All right, so now we've got that stuck down. Now we will be able just to glue this. Oh, that one is glued. Okay, so that was all right. Okay, so we've got that done now, like that. So before we do the next one, I think what I will do is I'm going to stick on the back here first. Now with this one, I have got this as the back piece. All right, so I'm going to stick this down here like that okay so let's just put a little bit of glue on the edge because you don't want to cover up that whole area and then we'll stick this down now i've tried to 
break up and not have too much bright color all in the front i've tried to um sort that out balance that between the back and the front so there we go so that's the back section there like that okay right now before we attach this i'll use my brains and make sure that i um, attach that to this one over here so what we want to do is make sure that this flap here is going to attach onto this side and we've got this flap on that side now we want to just tap it so we know that it's lined up with the bottom and nice and straight all right lie that down lift that up oh this one's got a, a sticky strip so that's okay and then we want to just put some glue on there like that okay and then we can just stick that down all right so that's coming together nicely um and then let's just put the back one on as well so the back one we want the flap on this side and you've got the flap on this side so again let's put these two together uh, like that tap move it over and let's stick this one down so that they are all together okay Gosh, it is so hot. It's stifling. I hope you guys are all all right. I know that somewhere in the, in the world, in the Southern Hemisphere, it's probably freezing. You know, um, if you are, any of you are suffering like in Germany with flooding or in America, my thoughts are with you guys. I hope you guys are all safe and sound. That is a worry, isn't it? Right, so we've got that all together like that. Now, we let's cover the rest of these things. Right, on the front bit here, I broke with tradition now and I'm going to use a teal piece of, one of this beautiful uh, teal piece of paper, the background paper from this kit, Purple Passions. So I'm going to stick that down right there. Um, and I don't know why I did a double-sided printing, but I did. <laughs> sometimes I, I don't know, sometimes I do funny things, but when things don't turn out quite right, then I don't just throw the paper away. I print on the other side and use it. So, you know, there's we've got to be uh, resourceful. Okay, so let's just stick this down. Okie dokie. There we go. So we've got a nice little bit of teal sticking out there, and that'll just catch those bits. We'll see. You'll see how it all comes together. All right now, on the back of this side. Um, I had two pieces. Now this is a piece of um, the smaller size page. Let me just grab it here quickly. Um, here's the smaller one. Well, it's the smaller version of this. So you're looking at that section here, um, but the smaller two to a page that I showed you earlier. Right, so I had just a little scrap. It wasn't quite long enough, but I'm going to be making a pocket here anyway. So we're going to stick this one down like that. Like that, all the way down. Um, get to the edge here and just get that like that. I'm going to draw a line there. Uh, no, wrong, wrong side. So it's that side I need the line. Just because of this bit here, and I don't want it to stick over that side. So get that all stuck down. I want to just fix it up with this corner there. And let's just move this over a bit. There we go. That's better. Okay. So there we go. I love how all these colors work together. It's just awesome. Right, a little bit of gold paper. We're going to have a pocket. So, right. So it's all coming together. Now we've got the back page here. Um, and what I've done is I've taken that small page. That's the full width of two to the page. And you can see how I've use the other bit over here and the other bit below we've used all the bits and bobs 
Right, so this is going to stick down. I think this is the front. Let's just make sure. Yes, yeah, so we want that like that. And we can stick that down. There we go. Get it nice and close to the edges unless you're stitching this. Yeah, you want to make sure it's down for life. <laughs> it's a long time. Right. Okay. So we'll just put this like this. And we'll stick that straight the way down there. Now what I did do, and I have done it on this one, but, um, is I did cut a little sliver, um, a little sliver, sorry, off the top there, and just to make it, uh, give it an opening for the pocket. All right, so we have done that. Now on the back, last bit that we're going to cover, um, what I've done is I've taken my monotone page. All right, so the large monotone page. I've taken the little pocket from the ephemera um, add-on kit and I've just sewn that on there. So this monotone page is the same design as this, but just obviously uh, because I just think if you put too much of a thing on, it's just too overbearing. So we've got to have a focus. I've just stitched it around there. You could glue it around there if you don't want to stitch. Okay. Right, so let's just have a quick look here. If you pick up this piece now, you should have a whole thing coming out like that. Okay, so that, that would be um, the one side of it. And when you look on the other side, you've then got a piece looking like that. Okay, so there we go. So we've got that all together now. So I want to do a bit of decorating. I'm going to put in um, some of the tabs first of all, so I'll show you that. Okay, so now we're going to put in the little cards. So we're going to put this one in to there. You can see I've used it from the scraps that we, we had there. So that one's going to go into this bit here. Then I've got the third longest one that's going to go into the top here. So we'll get that in. And, and then this one over here, I want to put into the back over there. All right, so this one might just need a bit of assistance here, <laughs> as you do, you know. There we go. Right. Right, so we've got those all in there. Now, I've got this little piece of ephemera that was part of my kit. I wanted to put that into the pocket. So I thought I'd just have something a little bit different there. So I put that in there. And then um, into the back section here where we've got our pocket, I've taken one of the little tags, just backed it onto some card and put in a little bow there. And that I'm going to just put into the back there. Try to keep the bow quite flat. So that's that. So now it's just a case of decorating on the front here. So I am going to be having a little bit of a butterfly explosion. And what I've done is I've taken one of my typewriter words, backed it onto a scrap of this paper. And I'm going to just stick this at the bottom here. So I hope you're all excited about what we are going to create with this all these little projects but I'm sure it's going to I'm hoping that you're going to like what what we see okay so we've got that bit there now I'm going to take um, this little mauve butterfly which came from this page here um, just so that you know I've cut it out from here okay so I'm going to just um, I want to just have it slightly peeking over like that so I'm going to just be mindful of the tip of the wing and I'm not going to put glue on that side. Like that. Okay, so there's that one. Then on this side, I wanted to put a few fussy cut flowers. So I've used the wildflower um, thing. This is from Garden Greens and I've just used the raspberry paper and the blue. I want to just put this on here because this one's quite um, pale, um, pale, 
bear not so exciting as the others so you know it's nice to bring other layers and textures um, into your project so I thought I would just do that this nozzle's great for, for the wildflowers or any of the fine um, floral die cuts really okay now um, what we can do is we can put another piece a, a, another little word on there so let's just put um, graceful I'll just show you how I do this quickly I just cut these out from the sheet like that um, then I just grab um, a little scrap of paper so in this case I think I will just grab what have I got I'm looking for a bit of the purple so I'm just going to grab that over here quickly. Okay, so then I just take this. I stick it down onto my paper. So we'll just stick that right here. Like that. And then it's, you can either tear it or cut it and that's how I do it. It's easy as that. And these are great to do when you're sitting in front of the TV, you know, <laughs> and you're thinking, oh, what can I do to keep my hands busy, if you're like me? Yeah, so there we go. I've got it like that. I just like to dust the edges like that. Okay, and then we can just put that over the bottom there. Right. Well, it's lovely to have these positive sentiments uh, to remind us of all the loveliness in our lives. And I am so grateful for so much and having all of you, of course. Right, so we've got that there. Now I want to put a little butterfly. I'm putting butterflies on all the levels. So <laughs> um, I thought I would put a little one like that. So I'm putting them alternatively here. So we're going to have that one peeking out on that side there. So you can see on the back I had a misprint again. So, you know, we've got to make use of all these pages, don't we? I'm going to have that one just peeking over there like that. All right. Now on this layer here, let's move that back like that. Again, I've got two die cuts, so I'll probably speed this up. Where did I? I think I wanted them on the other side, though. Okay, so I've just cut out um, earlier or the other day, I had a piece of this page, but the smaller version. And I've just cut out the butterfly from there. It was the two to the page one, which we used for something. And I thought, well, I'm just going to use, cut out that butterfly because we can't let it go to waste. And I'm just going to stick it on the bottom here. Make use of it. There we go. So there we go. I've got that. So it's coming together now and um, we want to put the other butterfly on so i'm going to stick this purpley one which comes from the same sheet of paper i've just shown you and the others uh, that one and the last one will are from a butterfly sheet so you've got lots of butterflies that match with this on that sheet as well all right so i've got this purple one here and i just want to um I think I'm going to just put that one just over there. Okay, and then the last one we're going to put on the other side over there. Like that. Okay, so I have, I'm not going to decorate uh, the front, I mean the back, overly too much. Um, yeah, let's just, I don't want to cover the flower actually, so and then... I might have to just put it this side. Or we'll have to because otherwise it doesn't look right. Okay, let's just put it there on that flower. There we go. Okay, I think that's everything that I wanted to do. So let's have a look here now. We've got a little bit there with our little card there. 
we've got a nice place to stick so you could stick something else there a little side pocket and put something in there as well you've got this area where you could write some notes you've got your little card in the middle there um, you've got a nice place to write there and a pretty picture there um, you've got a little tuck spot here a little pocket you could put another little bit of something we could stick another little um, butterfly over here so if I just take one of these little scrappy bits like this and I take my little circle punch so let's just take a bit where we've got some spots so I quite like I'm going to do it over here I think we've got some spots um, um, and then I do love circles and all sorts of goodies so we can just make a little layer bit up here see as you go through it you you if you like me you never know when to stop and then things go on and on and on so I've just got this light little bit there that's sort of not going to stand out too much I want to put our little butterfly on there and maybe another sentiment or just had an idea as you do, I'm just going to try and see if I can grab one of my little flowers. Hold on to that. I'm going to just cut off a bit of the flower and stick that down. See, you don't have to use the whole flower. You can use a piece of the flower. And we'll just put that half on the circle and half off and then we've got a little butterfly uh, which we can just put that way like that so there we go and you could even put a little sentiment on there as well and I do like making these right so we can just put some more glue on there another positive affirmation and just want to tuck it underneath there a little bit there we go and then I can just stick that down like that there we go just finish that off and you can put some other tags in there as well okay lovely place to write at the bottom here as well and then you've got all your bits together and then of course on the other side you've also got lots of writing space and your tag at the back there as well so none of it would be visible once you close that all up okay everybody um i hope that you've enjoyed that um quick little bit of fun it's pretty flat really not too bad so i go and make one of these for either your reference journal for our exciting envelopes or go and make two um, and then one aside for the projects for um, the little secret mystery project we're doing. All right. So thank you so much. Don't forget to go and have a look um, uh, out for Fans of Angela Kerr Designs, the new Facebook group. And if you're looking for a printed um, kit for either the Purple Passion or um, Floral Folly, those should be available um, later on today. So I hope to see you um all very soon in the very next video thank you so much for your kindness and support as always i appreciate it more than you guys realize um and i'll see you guys very soon in our next video now bye bye